right, I'm here with uh, Curtis Ling, Aoi 2000. He's on a different team now. Uh, this is his first interview uh, since you know leaving C9, and this is my first interview in a long time. So I'm excited. Are you excited, Curtis? Amazingly excited. Okay. You don't sound very excited. You guys just you guys just came off of a nice win against uh, Navi. A little closer than uh, you probably thought it would it, be. It was not clean. Uh huh. But you know you'll take it. Yeah. Uh, what is it, what is it like being on your new team? Uh, I, I really like it actually. I think all the players are extremely high skilled and Peter's a really good leader. And mm -hmm. I don't know, it feels nice playing with them. I, th I think I've personally been having some problems with play just because I think my mentality is really bad right now and just it's, it hasn't been the best for me and I'm like getting uh -huh. used to a lot of new things because the teams are very different in terms of play styles, I think. Well, describe that. People want to hear uh, the differences. I C9 was a lot more like you have multiple sources of leadership, everyone will do their own thing more. And this one, it's a bit more directed. I, I'm not saying one style is better or worse than another, it's just different. And, I don't know, it's... In a way, we, they're both good. Yeah, they're but both. But in another more accurate way, EG is better. Sure. I didn't say that, but like, I actually don't know if it's even true that, but um... Like, I'm having a bit of trouble finding my place on team, because even though I'm replacing Zai, like, how we do farming patterns and everything is actually quite different. Mm -hmm. I think how we found farm is also different. And yeah. Well, uh, what's the well? Now you're reunited with Universe. You're like, uh, bro, from back in the bottom bottom days. He was not bottom. He was a big toss. Though. Ding toss, right? Big okay. Toss. Yeah. And uh, now you guys are reunited. He got you. He got you into the summit with that video. He did. Yeah. I think that put you over the top. I think. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. It is like I didn't actually ask him to make the video for me, but like sure so, you no, did. no no no. So sure let me did. let me tell the story. So what happened was he had to sing a song for a hundred subs, uh -huh. and so I was like on Skype to him. It was just like, hey, A U I D sing, and I'm like, no, and they're like, do you want to make a Disney song with the Universe? I'm like, sure, and then since I helped him out with that, I guess they just decided to help me out with that. Like, and then they asked whether um, it was okay if they put the summit stuff on it, because I didn't even ask them to do it, and they were like, they thought it ended well for the video. Okay, all right. But, summit, summit was a pretty good tournament for you guys. You guys still finished second, but like, hey, it's, it, it was a good finish, comparatively. This tournament, though, more prize money than TI3? I think it's still below TI3, but it's getting here. No? Is it not? Is it below TI3? Just up. It's, it's above this? Higher. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Big, big monies. Money. But uh, the results thus far, uh, Secret winning huge so far, and no one has beaten them yet. Um, what do you think the, wh why do you think they're doing so well? They have five top tier players, and they managed to find a style that's really good this tournament, and they play their own picks. They're really confident. Uh, everyone like going to this tournament, uh, they sort of suck at scrims. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't scrim them that many times, but from what I heard, they did not do well in scrims against anyone. Uh huh. So that's what people have been saying, and then yeah. they just came in and. But like yeah. that's, I guess that's puppy, right? Yeah. Like for how long a Navi they would go to tournaments and they would just lose everything and then they just win the land. Yeah. I think it's, they have they have like a mixture of experience. They have like amazing players. I don't know. They're just a strong team. Okay, and your new your new teammates. We talked about Universe a little bit, but uh, you got this young kid. The uh, fourteen, fifteen year old. Um. What is it, what is playing what is it like playing with him? Is he quiet? What's he like in game? He's definitely quiet. He's becoming more vocal, which is really good, just because he's getting more used to us. Uh, he's only he only came to the states like six months ago, mm -hmm. so while in Pakistan they I think they learn to like read and write a lot. I don't think they have much practice speaking. You mean English? Yeah, English. Okay. So, like as his English gets better, he's gonna be more communicative. But he's really good, like mechanically and he's super aggressive which is hard to play with sometimes it's a bit scary <laughs> like, but yeah he, i really like playing with him okay is he is he going to be better than rtz eventually easily easily okay good i don't know is pretty good yeah um, they're, they're different though like, yeah they're they're not the same one's style. one's a lot younger and uh pakistani the other one's canadian yes yeah that's what's the rap music do they listen to different music Probably. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I bet, I bet Sumail takes Artisi's playlist like that. He just young leans it up. 
Actually, I hope not. I don't know what they do. <laughs> um, What's the, what's the difference between being managed by uh, Charlie again versus uh, Conrad? Any yeah. difference? Not really. It, it was a pretty easy transition for me just because I was already managed by Charlie. And I mean, he still worked with us mm -hmm. no matter what team we were on. He still helped us out. I think the biggest difference is that, um, I don't know, Conrad, we sort of split up more. Mm -hmm. So even if the organization like wants to pay for our meals, it's hard for them to do so. Just because so you guys, you guys, around times. Okay, so you guys are a little bit more independent. Uh, we, I think we are a bit more independent on Cloud9. Like, yeah, EG, I, I, I haven't paid for any food here, so just because we've always been around each other mm -hmm. when we're ordering food and stuff. And uh, so, you guys, uh, EG has their own little mannerisms. Have you picked up the caveman speak? Are they still doing that? What is that? The, you know, the, okay, so I guess they're not. Were they, were I mean, they you speak have to speak in like sentence fragments and bad grammar on purpose. They stopped doing that. Uh, Ever I think since Fear, Mason left. Fear still does that a bit of our tour. Uh -huh. And I, sometimes I see them like type to each other like, Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, like that, right? Yeah. Like, that's a came out speak. Yeah. But not to each other that much. Okay. All right. Um, what's, uh, so what, what is the mindset right now? You guys are just figuring out your new team? You know? The mindset's still to win. Yeah. Like, we're new, but XO Seeker and Bing went 15 to 0, easily won their best of three. Mm -hmm. Like, every team in this tournament for the West is basically has some changes, or I think the top ones people predicted going in had some changes, and the Chinese hadn't played in so long. It seems like the Western teams are doing quite well this tournament, huh? A lot of them. Yeah, it's actually great because everyone was just like, China's so good, you know, yeah, China's gonna yeah, wreck yeah, everyone, yeah. you know. Um, maybe Secret has a chance, maybe they'll <laughs> take one game with like. That, that happens. Some though. people on forums, like, I just can't stand them. Remember uh, when um, Alliance won that Chinese yeah. tournament and no one ever thought? The, like yeah. anyone had a chance. It, it's insane. They're just like, Wisp is not Inva. The Chinese will never make a mistake against Wisp, so the hero sucks. Yeah. But like, Wisp was the most overpowered hero in Dota for like so long. Yeah. Wisp is actually insane, because Empire picked him for six months when he was at his strongest, and no one else picked him. And they That's for Empire team, though. Yeah. They didn't when, need to go to, like... They, right after TI, yeah. dominate. Right up until TI, do well. And then just, they disappeared, yeah. Well, it's weird. Navi, like, took their players, right? That is true. That's why. But uh, okay. So, what what do you think is wrong with the Chinese play team right now? Like newbie, like what? what where did they go? Like one in like fourteen or something yeah. crazy. Well, I think they went two games. Okay, they went two games. But uh, when you go from like that, like when you go from winning a TI to going two to thirteen at group stage, like there's obviously some lack of motivation, or they don't care, or like there's something structural. Sure, their sponsor them. loves that. <laughs> I don't even think, are they sponsored by anything though? Like, is it just some rich paid, guy? Right? It's just some rich guy. Though, yeah, right? but I mean, he's like, probably on TI. Like, I'm paying you guys like 10k a month or whatever you do. Yeah, but like, they won TI, so like, it's not like, he, he, you can't say he got his money's worth. Like, he, they won the biggest tournament still. Yeah, yeah. Like, if people like, if we look at this by international years, including last international, like, Nubia is by far still the most successful team. Really? Yeah, I mean, they, they won two more turns after TI, I think. Oh, that's right. Like, like they yeah, just, yeah. they don't practice, they play MLR, they just show up to the tournament, just win, we get second on C9. Six, six, six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, has your day-to-day -day changed at all now that you've been a Dota Pro season for like a year and a half now? Two years? Do you feel um, it more grindy or? At all? Honestly, like, solo queue stopped being fun for me a while ago. Mm -hmm. I see you play uh, with your friends. I play a lot with my friends. Yeah. Um, like, I still play a lot of Dota. I still really, really love Dota. Mm -hmm. Solo kills, it seems only fun to me when there's something specific I want to practice. Because it's still fun for me sometimes. Yeah. It's just like I like to random in solo kill and sometimes like depending on the hero I got I either win or I don't win. It's just it gets really dumb. Do you uh do you do anything else now for fun outside of the uh, I play some Counter Strike. I'm almost professional. Go Nova Four. You, are you like terrible? You're terrible at Counter Strike. Well, it's like two K M or more. Okay. <laughs> well, Counter Strike's like, huge now. If I'm behind someone and they're actually decent at the game, like I have like a fifty percent chance of killing them if they don't know I'm there behind them. <laughs> Can you pull a knife? <laughs> stab them? Yeah, but then they hear you. Like if I'm behind them at four. Okay. Like, yeah, my aim is not good. Okay. My everything's not good at Counter Strike, honestly. It's just a completely different skill set than Dota. Yeah, I mean, like I was talking to people, I was like, there's. Counter Strike is one of the games where I, I can look at it and be like, I will never be that good at that game. Like compared to the pro. Are you usually like one of those people that's just good at all the games you play? Most of the games, like I, I pick up really fast, but Counter Strike, like, that, that's some hard shit. Yeah, well, like, 
the the cycle of like uh, rounds are like so fast. It's like yeah, one minute, two minutes, and then you're just like into another round. And it's also because like the amount of time I devote into a game isn't like if I the games I get good at it's because I devote time into it and I get mechanically good. Mm -hmm. Like there's something like AD, like Starcraft. And, yeah, like, Starcraft. Yeah. Like I got good at it fast, but like kind of like, like the basic mechanics I never even practiced them. So you, you spend a lot of time and you, you study and you learn these games and people are like, oh, Aoi's in the top 20 of like X number of heroes. He must just be amazing at, at Dota. But it's really just practice. Are you, is that what you're saying? Is that your advice to people uh, that are uh, trying to I mean, be pros? Pretty much. Dota buff ranking is so skewed towards like high MMR profiles. Uh -huh. so I'm, I'm well, sure isn't it's... that how rankings should be though? I, it, it's sort of, but like if I play like 10, 30 games on a hero, and someone else is like 600 or 1,000 MMR or less than me, but played like 2,000 on that hero, like I'm sure they actually know more about the hero than me. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's not always true, like I'll have a better general understanding of the game, but like if I go into a game with that hero and there are other heroes on our team, they'll be like, oh, this hero is good against my hero because he does this. So I'm like, uh, I hope I win my lane, you know? Like it's it's not the same level of understanding. So even if like I'm better mechanically, like last and stuff, which makes me ahead on the list, I'm not actually better at that hero. Okay. I'm just better at Dota. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, you leaving C9. Um, I know Envy didn't elaborate on why you left C9 or why you guys split up, but do you want to talk about that at all? Or uh, sure. I mean, me and Pi were kicked. Uh huh. It was like it was really weird, honestly. Um, so Noto was kicked from Secret. Uh -huh. He asked for a Skype call uh, for Fata and Envy's Skype contacts, so I give it to him. And then, like, I asked Envy what's going on, and he wouldn't tell me. So, like... You're like, oh my god, something's wrong. No, no, like, <laughs> I actually had a lot of faith in my team. Uh -huh. Like, I, I don't... I, I, I'm... I say this, like, and it makes them... Putting them too negative a light, I think, because, like... But I don't know, like, at Summit, too, like... We had this talk, and we're like, we all decide, like, we can stay together, we can be the best team. And it was just really unexpected how it was done. Um, so we had the speech at Summit, how, how we were all staying together, and then, like... We took a break because people were a bit burned out from all the lands, and then we got six lines on the Skype combo, and the person who talked to us just left the combo, and we didn't get to say anything. And like, I uh, asked another combo, like, wait, did we just get kicked? Like, we didn't even know what happened. Oh uh, wow! And like, I wasn't even home at the time, but when that happened, I just because like Artur and Zai left. EG, I just messaged PPD right away. I was like, hey, you wanna play, dude? <laughs> and I was in detail. <laughs> he was like, all right. I mean, like. It was so sudden, like, I know, like, Pi really got screwed, because, like, if they had done it before um, the winter break, like, because all the teams sort of went on break a bit, yeah. like, it would be e really easy to make a team again. Like, Pi didn't get, even get a chance there. Yeah. Like, I got really lucky because EG needed someone, and I'm North American, but it yeah. was really shitty, honestly. Um, did you get any feedback on, like, why it happened, or no. was it just... No, it was just no. I mean, like... I mean... Pi was Obviously, like probably, talked about solar and stuff. Like if it were fixed, he was, might be kicked. Specifically after Chad, but like no one ever said something like if you don't fix this, you like there's a chance you're gonna get kicked. Like I thought everything was good. Oh, so wow. like okay. I know there are some problems, but uh, I don't know. Just, so you got blindsided a bit. Yeah. And what, did you? Did you? Were you like? How did you feel immediately? Were you just like, oh man, this sucks. Uh, I didn't really feel anything at first because I didn't know what's happening. Okay. Like I was sort of on a date with my girlfriend. Okay. And I, I checked my. Phone what were you guys doing? Uh, actually, this is we, important. This yeah, is what yeah, people yeah. want to know. So we we just got to the mall. Okay. And then. Let's go to the mall. I mean, we were meeting at the mall to go okay. to dinner, like because right. it's Sky Train Station. The mall is near Sky Train Station. Okay. Yeah, but anyways, like I put on my phone and check my Sky and I'm like, hey, I think. I think I just got kicked. I want to go home, so I just went home. Oh, wow. And then okay. she like came and then we. Yeah, like, just, I don't know, she's like, what's happening? And I didn't really know what's happening. It was shitty. Mm -hmm. But now, now you landed on another team. Seems pretty, seems to be going it's, decently well. It's really good. I, I'm sort of scared because, like, I mean, being kicked, it, for me, at least, like, I've never been, like, a overly cocky player, I guess. Like, if I misplay, I'm really hard on myself. So <coughs> yeah. when my confidence gets fucked up, it's really bad for my play because I second-guess myself a lot. And I feel like... I haven't been playing that well in EG. Like I've been second guessing like everything I've done, and like not even having a reason for being kicked to sort of shitty in that way, just because you'll second guess everything. So, like, uh, like, I'm like your girlfriend broke up with you and just didn't say why. Yeah. And you're just, yeah, no, <laughs> you're just like, that's why. Tell me 
Like, what happened? So and like, she's like, ah, you know. Yeah, I feel like I'm not performing like I should on Niji. Especially, you, I think they're really good. Really, uh, really, really good, all the players, so. Are you, uh, are you still friends with Envy? Or is it a uh, little bit of a... I haven't talked to any of them since, really. I played a pub with Fado. Really? Wow, okay. He invited me to a pub and like, like, I don't, I don't hate any of them. Right, I mean, like, so, you know, it's, a, it's, it's Dota, like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, when you're like, I don't want to see any of them win, but I don't hate them. <laughs> I mean, there, there's no way, like, anyone who gets kicked from a team would want to see their own team win, honestly. Yeah, that's just how it like, works, that, yeah. Like, it's not some benevolent feeling or something. It's Is that the same it's... way between uh, EG and Secret? Um, honestly, in the West, it's the same between all teams, even if there isn't this kick up. Like, yeah. you know, when we were in C9 getting a second, EG is winning, we're just like, oh, we are so sick of seeing EG win. Like, can they just Yeah, lose? yeah. And well, like, that's such a now Secret's right? winning. Yeah. And is it like, Arteezy and Zai, is PPD like, do you feel the salt coming out of it? <laughs> do you feel it? <laughs> He's like, fucking they won again? God damn it! You know, like, PPD's not even that salty, honestly. No? He, he, he's he not plays it up, he plays it up for the crowd. Yeah, he might, but yeah. like... As a human being, he's definitely not. He's not like <laughs> okay, human, good. like yeah, for, yeah. for the earth, is he salty? No, I mean like <laughs> if you talk to him like real talk, you know, like he's not doing anything else. But like how Charlie described him is like he's like just genuinely honest. He won't be nice about something, but he'll tell you directly. Okay. Which is really good for a leader, right? Yeah. Just because yeah, like true. something happens like that was bad. Uh-huh. And you're like, Alright, that was bad. And if something could happen, like, that was good. And there won't be any like Whoa! Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. he's just know? very up. Like, yeah, I actually really like the leader. Does he ever get emotional about stuff? Um, not to the extent that it would negatively affect the game. Okay. And uh, and the the rest, of, I I know like the rest of EG like universe like never reacts to anything. He's like just. Does he ever scream? What about Sumail? Uh, Does that kid ever get excited? I mean, like, it's hard to tell just because we just played group stage in one best of three, and D2 was probably the worst tournament in existence. Why? I mean, it wasn't Dota. Like, you had 25% pack loss in the entire tournament. It was actually mm. ridiculous. Okay. Uh, and it, like, it was actually absurd. But, yeah. I mean, it's hard to say, like, the player on the EG are underrated because everyone knew they were top tier, but whenever people are, like, considering top sort of position, like, Artizio always. Uh, actually, I don't know what I'm saying. They sort of got concerned, but like not as much as they should have. I think they're, they really impressed me. Like I, in particular, I, uh, Fear is way better than I thought he would be. Uh huh. Okay. Because he's really good, and I knew Universe was really good, and Peter. I knew Peter was a really good leader, but it's actually above my expectations too. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you know this this tournament is a pretty good test because it's like not you don't get a tournament like where with this much pressure and like people like uh, you know this much prize money so early you know in the year so it's I guess it's a good test for you guys are you is it just like first or you know you're still how is, what's the what's the aim like what are your standards I I think we can win I think we all want to win so you guys were a leading secret in that game we were and my Christmas was not good. Did not even know it. But, like, I, I think we should have won that game, actually. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it was a drafting each other. I think that was just a play, so. Okay. Well, I, I don't want I don't want to keep you too long for here. Um, I know you got to eat and stuff, but uh, do you have anything you want to say? Uh, no, just shout out to my sponsors. Like, got to memorize the new set of sponsors? Thank you. Planet Side, Razor, Monster. Dear Lord, they have different sponsors than C9. Cyber Power PC, 100 TV. Okay. Right. That's like 70% of them. I got okay. 70%. That's a, 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 you, That's you're, you get some leeway because you, you, you're new. Okay. Um, do you have any uh, other than the sponsors, any shout outs? No, uh, I guess thanks to my girlfriend for being so supportive because like, I go away for ridiculous long times and she's always just there for me. So. Okay. And I'll do your call out for you. So how could you kick this guy? Look at his face. Look how nice he is. How could you kick him without telling him? Why he was kicked? Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's my call. That's my, I, I, I hooked you up. You don't have to say it. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for the interview. Um, you know, I'm sure we'll meet again and we can talk about more fun stuff. This is a little serious, but, you know, it's the first one of the day. I gotta get back in the groove. Thank you very much. See you, uh, see you next time. Yeah, it was a pleasure.